What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove Homestead and in today's video we're going to be doing a food plot. But first let's start with what I'm going to plant. So I've got some Renz Abruzzi rye. That's hard to say. Renz Abruzzi rye, I've got 50 pounds of that and I've got 50 pounds of oats and I'm trying to plant one acre. So I've got to mix this seed together before I put it in my Cabela's 2.0 spreader because the oats are, have like a hole on them and they'll get caught in the gate down at the bottom of the spreader if they're not mixed with another sort of grain that'll help them go through that gate. So in addition to the grains, we'll also be putting out five pounds of Durana white clover. This is Buck on the Bag Pennington. It's real hard to get uh, Durana when it's not with a manufacturer. You can't get just like generic Durana clover. And it's a clover that's been genetically engineered to do well in Northern Florida and Georgia. So we're gonna put out five pounds of that. Disregard what the uh, label on this says, but this is actually chicory. So we're gonna take this chicory and this clover, put it together, put it in a small spreader. And after we till in these two seeds, the grain seeds, then we're gonna spread this on top and then lightly pack that in. So that's the process I've been doing every year for about 10 years and it works really well. Get those grains in the ground first, get them covered up with the tiller. We'll be using the Kubota L3901 with a King Cutter five foot tiller to till the land and also incorporate the seeds. And then we're either gonna use a drag or the tires of the ATV or the tires of the tractor to pack in the clover and the chicory seed because they're smaller seed and you don't want them deep down in the soil profile. You want them up top in that, in that top quarter inch layer. The first thing, let's open up these seeds right here, these grain seeds. Try not to spill too many of them and get them in this hopper mixed up properly. It's very important that I get this mixed properly because if I don't, all the smaller rye seed will go to the bottom of the hopper of the spreader and then the oats will all get bound up and you'll have to stop constantly to clear it. This is what it looks like inside the spreader. And do the same thing, I'm just trying to make sure there's plenty of rye mixed with those oats all the way down to the bottom. So when I seeded this last year, I didn't take the time to do what I'm doing now. And it got so bound up that I actually had to take the oats and spread them, just throw them out by hand, just hand cast them. And that made a lot of pockets of oats in the food pot. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to look for even coverage all the way across the food pot. I just gotta make sure these oats aren't bunched up. Looks like they're mixed nicely now. But this is our one acre food pot in the back of Piney Grove. I've got the spreader full of the rye and the oat mixture. And I'm just gonna go across this whole food pot until that's empty and then go refill it. Now the typical seeding rate for grains is about 50 pounds per acre. You can go a little higher. We're actually gonna go 100 pounds per acre. And the reason for that is twofold. Number one, this is Florida. We have poor soil. We have a lot of sand in our soil. Fortunately up here at the farm, we have clay in our soil. So that helps a little bit. It helps retain moisture and it gives us a little bit better soil than coastal Florida, but it's still not real deep, rich soil. And the second reason is there's gonna be a lot of deer using this food plot. We've had up to 18 deer using this food plot at one time. And as soon as these grains come up, they're gonna nip some of them. And some of them aren't gonna make it from that first time that they come up and they come in here and eat a little bit. So I wanna put plenty out there so that the surviving ones, you know, will get to that four, five, six inches tall and uh, feed the deer throughout the winter and into the early spring. So we're gonna go heavy and put that whole 100 pounds on this acre. Let's get started. First thing I gotta do is hook up the electrical. It's real easy. The connector back here. I'm gonna run this under the seat of my ATV. And then I have a 12 volt or cigarette lighter type of receptacle up here. I have an on off switch that I'll use to control the motor. That's not good. Well, I got lucky and this video was almost over before it got started. There's a fuse that goes in here and a little end that connects on your cigarette lighter. And the reason it wouldn't come on is because that came unscrewed and I walked all the way up to my truck in the mega shed, but it all was right here on the ground. Yeah, there's still a spring missing. Well, a higher power must have wanted me to make this video because I found that spring and I was just about to give up on it. And I guess that just came loose from the vibrations in my truck or something. All right, let's see if it'll spin now. All right, I've checked good 30 minutes later. Okay, that did not go smoothly because I forgot when you turn off this spreader, 
the gate is still open and I'm used to using the sprayer and when you turn off the sprayer, you don't have anything else to do. When you're using a spreader like this, you keep the plate spinning and you turn off the gate and I didn't do that. So somewhere down at the other end of the plot and at this end of the plot, there's a big pile where I made my turn and I didn't close the gate, but I got that figured out. I got it spread. I've got another, you know, 50 pounds or so to spread out here, but I think I got a pretty even coat. But in light of that, there is some good news. The fan came on in my ATV. And if you didn't see that series, my ATV was overheating and I had to troubleshoot it and put in a new fan switch and the fan's coming on, it's not overheating. So that's a win right there. But uh, I'm gonna go get this last 50 pounds of seed and hopefully I put that out correctly. All right, guys, I got that seed all spread with the ATV and that's just really a nice way of doing it. We do have a spreader for the tractor, but that is changing another three point hitch piece of equipment or an implement. And nobody likes doing that. And I certainly don't wanna do that just for like one hour and then switch back to the tiller. So having an ATV and a spreader behind the ATV is a real time saver and it's fun to ride an ATV. So I really enjoy that. But got the seed all spread. I've already done a couple passes with the tiller just to kind of gauge how it's gonna chop up, make sure there's enough moisture in the soil. And uh, it's looking really good. I'd like it to be a little bit more moist, but last year when I did this same one acre field, uh, it was a dust storm. Uh, we actually dusted in the seed. That's what you call it when you don't have moisture and you just wait for rain. But I think we have enough moisture here, not only to keep the dust down, but to germinate the seed. So I'm just gonna go back and forth across this one acre field. I'm gonna do it this way because the water comes this way and I wanna create all these ridges with the tiller, the edges of the tiller. And uh, that'll just kind of slow that water down as it goes downhill with all those little dams of dirt and also this debris that's gonna get chopped up in the soil. But uh, this tiller is gonna do a fine job. I've already uh, inspected it. It's gonna do a fine job of chopping up all this uh, burn off grasses here, incorporate it in the soil, not only giving a good seed bed for the seed that I put down, but also it's going to enrich the soil with more organic matter. Every year that we do this, it's just gonna make it better. We don't combine or take the wheat or the rye or whatever the seed is that we put here. We don't harvest it afterwards. So all that residue just stays here. And uh, we just wanna continually build this soil until years from now, when we uh, are living out here full time and we're farming, maybe we'll put in an acre of watermelon or cantaloupe or something back here and we'll have nice rich soil to do it with. But I'm gonna get on the tractor, throw this camera on time lapse and go across here and till up this whole one acre. bound up here. I was close to the wood's edge and uh, caught some vines. Just the way it was throwing dirt, I could tell it wasn't properly engaging with the soil, but it's not bad. It's just this one vine. There it goes. No damage done, but you can see in there how shiny it is. Let's see if it got warm. I doubt it got too warm. No, it didn't get warm, but it was definitely bound up right there on that edge. So I guess we're almost to the halfway point, but it's working up really good. I'm trying to keep my line straight here. You know, I like straight lines. That soil and that thatch and the seed that I already put down with the ATV, that's working in good. I think this can be a good plot. Let me put you back on time-lapse. Oh, by the way, if you're liking the video so far, now would be a good time to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, now might be a good time to subscribe. It'd really help out our channel and we'd really appreciate it. All right, let me get back on this tractor. Okay guys, we're all done tractoring. We got this all tilled up. Came out really, really nice. It's actually beautiful to me, but we got this whole one acre. Now where I'm standing, I didn't till that because we get some erosion down this hill. And it seems like right after I till, we get a big rain. So I just left this grass. There's some seeds on top of it. It might grow, but uh, it's looking really, really good. Now I just got to spread the small seed, the clover and the chicory, then run over it with the tractor to pack it in. Then we're done. All right, guys, it's starting to get late. You can see the shadows are getting long on the field back there, but I'm gonna mix this 
uh, Durana White Clover with the chicory. Put it in my Solo front pack spreader. And if you haven't seen this before, I did something called uh, five must-have tools for a farm. And I talked about this thing. This is invaluable if you have a farm. If you're seeding a pasture, you're seeding some acreage, this is a great tool to have when you want to spread small seed. And uh, if you don't have like an ATV spreader like we showed earlier. But I already have a few pounds of this chicory in here that I pre-measured at home. Mix that with this five pounds of Durana. And I got this off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Really don't want to put my hand in it. It's got a coating on it, but I guess I'll take one for the team. But that's what we got. We got a mix of chicory and Durana clover. I also have this spreader. This is a real good spreader. It's just a cheap Scott spreader that you can get from Walmart, Amazon, whatever. And uh, that's good for small seed as well. So this is a, a chest pack spreader. So it'll actually sit here on my chest kind of up high and I'll spread it. And then I'll put my hand in front of the discharge just to make sure I'm putting out the right rate and just go across this pot here. But I'm not gonna do the whole thing because the center of the pot is clay and it's dry. I'm just gonna do like maybe the edges and uh, any place where mo there's more moisture because over the years as I planted the center with that dry clay, it just, the clover doesn't do well there. And I don't think I have enough to uh, properly seed the whole pot. All right, guys, that was the last step. Literally, I walked across the plot and spread out the seed. And now I'm just going to go grab the tractor and pack this in. I'll take the uh, rototiller and I won't engage the PTO. I'll just drag it behind me and that'll push those little seeds into the ground. And then between the rain and the deer tracks or the deer hooves, it'll push them into the ground, those little seeds far enough that they'll germinate. But that's how we do plotting out here at Piney Grove. And I'll also have more plot videos coming up as I plant my hunting lease, which will be at least five or six acres. So stay tuned for them if you like plotting. And if you don't like plotting, well, I appreciate you staying to this part of the video anyway. But uh, that's all I've got. If you guys would, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends and help grow our channel. But otherwise, you all have a good one and take care out there. And remember, life's short, tractor hard. That's a good looking field right there. PG out. <laughs>